Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some fragrances that I pull whenever I wanna feel like that woman. The operative word is woman, okay? Not that chick, not that girly, not that girl, but that woman, okay? There's a difference in fragrances. Like sometimes I wanna feel flirty and young and fun and yummy and smell like a snack. But then other times I wanna smell elite. I wanna smell sophisticated. I wanna smell sexy. I wanna smell sultry. We are in the gourmand era. It's clear. We're in the vanilla era. It is so clear. <laughs> like every other video, every other TikTok reel, I myself, like we all talk about vanilla fragrances, gourmand fragrances. But for me, whenever I wanna feel super special, super sultry, a rose fragrance is gonna do it for me, y'all. And for the rose haters and naysayers, let me let y'all know that the rose is the anchor of the majority of the fragrances that you guys love, okay? If it's not the rose, it's some type of a floral note, but best believe the rose is leading the pack. And I know rose gets a bad rap. Like a lot of people feel like rose smells older, more mature, you know, whatever. I haven't smelled a rose fragrance like that. All right, y'all. So I don't know what's these rose fragrances y'all be talking about coming across that smell old or super mature or just not sexy because the ones on this here list today are super sexy, all right? So if you wanna know what fragrances to wear, if you wanna shut down the room, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. All right, guys, so before we get into the fragrances, I'm just gonna let you guys know quickly that this weekend I am having my winter sale with So Avant Garde 30% off the majority of the fragrances with the exception of Mind Games and 40% off Tiziana Terenzi and Vicanto. Be sure to check the description box, all the links and the fragrances and the price, well not the prices, but the links and all that is gonna be in the description box. All right, y'all, so let's just jump into this video. The first fragrance, when I tell you I love this fragrance so much, I've had the body wash, I've had the body cream, I even have the dry body oil because I love layering with this scent. I love it on its own to stack the scents together so the fragrance can last longer on my skin, but I also love layering with this scent and it is such a beautiful rose and oud fragrance. And that fragrance is by Jo Malone and it's Velvet Rose and Oud. Listen to me when I tell you, this isn't for everybody. It's not for the faint of heart. This fragrance is so gorgeous. If you love rose and you love the smell of rose, you love the scent of rose, it's not super sweet. It's not adding a whole bunch of fruits in this fragrance to make it jammy, although I love fragrances like that. But this one is just like your straight up rose oud fragrance, but it's so creamy. It's so velvety, soft and smooth. It is such a sexy fragrance, okay? When you layer this fragrance with the shower oil, the body cream, and the dry body oil, I dare anybody say this fragrance don't last on them. Because a lot of people like to talk about how Jo Malone doesn't last on their skin. And I mean, I hear it all the time, but honestly guys, I don't experience that. Even with the regular fragrance. This is the uh, Cologne Intense. So of course it's gonna give you more intensity, it's gonna last longer, it's gonna project further. But even with the regular cologne fragrances like Wood Sage and Sea Salt, Peony and Blush Suede and all the other fragrances that I have, they last on me y'all. Maybe it's how I spray, it's how I layer, I have no idea. But if you're one that has issues with Jo Malone, if you get the whole entire trifecta, trust and believe this is gonna be on you forever. Velvet Rose and Oud by Jo Malone. Next up by Creed, we have Carmina. This fragrance came out a few months back in 2023. I smelled it in Neiman Marcus. I loved it. It was a love at first sniff and I pre-ordered it, y'all. I had to have this fragrance. It smells so incredible. It's very sophisticated. It's not giving snack. It's not giving yummy. It's nothing like that. It's just a very elite, upper echelon, very sexy, sultry, commanding attention type fragrance. It's like an alpha female, but she's sexy. You know what I'm saying? This fragrance has black cherry. 
and the cherry in this fragrance you definitely smell it but it's not a cherry forward fragrance for me this fragrance is more of a rose and then the cherry is next to the rose but the rose is definitely in the forefront of this fragrance it lasts forever on the skin it's a powerful fragrance if you know anything about creed fragrances you already know they last long on the skin the performance is amazing it just smells so good y'all it has saffron in it it's a little spicy it's not creamy it's woody it's a feminine fragrance to me but i feel like i've heard a lot of you guys say that it doesn't smell feminine to you or it leans more on the masculine side to each its own for me it just says boss it's not like one of those fragrances that everybody's gonna smell and love. I can definitely see that in this fragrance because it doesn't have a mass appealing type of scent, but that's what I love about it, y'all. So it opens up with saffron. There's black cherry, pink pepper, may rose, peony, cashmere wood, violet, myrrh, musk, frankincense, and ambroxan. Creed Carmina. Next up by Parfum and Zamarli, we have Delina Exclusive. Now this fragrance right here is a little bit more mass appealing in my opinion. It smells like Delina, but it doesn't have that sharp tart note in it you definitely smell like a spicy nutmeg in this fragrance you smell the oud in this fragrance it has like a creaminess in this fragrance it smells like a sherbet like imagine if you smell delina but remove all the tartness from delina and the freshness from delina add in some more spices add some woody notes and some creaminess like almost a little bit lactonic and you're gonna get delina exclusive this right here is so super sexy so super gorgeous even though it has like a more mass appealing type of scent it's still commanding the room like you're wearing delina exclusive you're definitely guaranteed compliments all right like if you're not getting a compliment it's either because you look super super mean and nobody wants to approach you or you're just in the middle of a conversation they don't want to interrupt you i wear it all year round because i just love the scent that much that i don't want to be without it so i'm definitely going to be smelling like delina exclusive but it's perfect for the fall and winter if you have the trifecta of delina la rose delina and delina exclusive you can reserve this one for the fall winter and it's just a gorgeous scent super sexy super sultry it is gorgeous delina exclusive by parfums of marley next up by initio we have atomic rose y'all this fragrance the name says it all the rose in this fragrance is atomic the rose in this fragrance is standing out the rose in this fragrance is so sexy i mean I don't know who doesn't love this fragrance. Even people that don't love rose. I've had comments from people that say, I hate rose, I'm not a rose girl, but Atomic Rose is that chick. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a gorgeous fragrance. It kind of smells like Delina, the original Delina a little bit. Like you're gonna get that DNA, but without the sharpness of that fragrance and without the nutmeg. I smell nutmeg in the Delina fragrance, which I love it so much. And I also smell that tart rhubarb note in this fragrance. This is more of a woody rose fragrance, but it's still more complex. Let me tell you all the notes. It has pink pepper, there's Hedion, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, Egyptian jasmine, Madagascar vanilla, and amber. It is such a gorgeous rose fragrance. One of my first rose fragrances, actually, one of my first rose niche fragrances. I bought this with my own coins, all right? <laughs> but it is sold on soavantgarde.com. Listen, Initio fragrances, I feel like I've said this so many times before and I'm gonna say it again. I haven't met an Initio fragrance I did not love. Every fragrance from that house is a banger. Even if it's too masculine for me, the fragrances are still super beautiful. This fragrance is unisex. I've heard of men wearing this fragrance, but it doesn't lean masculine. To me, it leans feminine. It's a feminine scent. It's a beautiful rose, sexy fragrance, but it doesn't lean masculine, but it's also not Fru Fru Lala. If you're somebody who likes super light, airy designer fragrances, you may smell this and it may be a little bit too much for you. But when I tell you, I mean, it is so addictive all right and it lasts long on the skin it projects it is a masterpiece initials atomic rose all right guys so this next fragrance i went into bloomingdale's a few years ago sprayed it on my hand and was like you know what let me just walk around with it while i shop and do what i do and i'll come back to the counter that's what i like to do i like to spray myself and then do what i have to do in the store and then come back to the counter 
Y'all, when I tell you I got up the escalator and back down the escalator, I didn't even look at the clothes and look at anything that I went into Bloomingdale's for because the scent of this on my hand, she was talking to me. She was like, you need to get me right now. And that fragrance is by Bond Number no. 9 and it's Perfumista Avenue. Y'all, when I tell you, this is another rose and saffron fragrance, but it also has plum. It's sweet, it's a little, it's not super jammy, but it's definitely sweeter than the other fragrances that we spoke about thus far. It is a powerhouse fragrance a beast of a fragrance if you love spicy fragrances if you love rose and you want to smell the rose okay you just have an appreciation for rose you will love this fragrance like i said it has the fruit and it's a little sweet but it doesn't take away from the fact that the rose in here is booming so this one has plum saffron nutmeg rose oil rose water peony jasmine amber patchouli and musk y'all gorgeous fragrance super sexy valentine's day is coming up this is like a valentine's day put it on type of scent first of all every single fragrance on this list is for valentine's day or just a day when or evening when you just want to feel super elevated super sexy and you want to smell grown and sexy all right so if i don't say it after every fragrance just know that these fragrances are super sexy sultry and perfect for valentine's day or any sexy date night all right so back to perfumista so she's spicy she's not woody or anything you definitely smell the rose she's a little spicy nothing crazy with the spiciness it's more like a light aromatic type of spices you smell the rose it's a little sweet from the plum it's giving you a little fruitiness like a little jamminess but nothing too sweet it doesn't smell like rose candy upper echelon when i tell you exquisite elite all the things everything lasts long the performance i mean this fragrance is just like a showstopper for me so i can go on and on but if you know you know but perfume Mr. avenue by bond number no. nine you may not hear a lot of people talking about it on the tiktok youtube and instagram streets but do not sleep if you ever get a chance to go to a store and smell it smell it and let me know because i need to know how you feel about this banger right here Okay guys, so this next fragrance is new to my collection in the full bottle, but I've had the oil and I've also had the travel sizes, like the three um, 10 ml or was it four 10 ml decants of it. Love it, took it on vacation and wore it down, okay? But I had to get the full bottle and it's Oud Satin Mood. Y'all, if y'all watch me and y'all been watching me for a while, you already know I love this fragrance. I've always loved this fragrance, but whenever I sprayed it on me back then, I felt like it leans more masculine. And the fact that Bay has this and he wears it and I love how it smells on him. In my mind, I just had, this is a masculine scent. Like it's for a man, I smell manly. But y'all, whatever happened to my nose last summer, I believe it was, and I had to purchase the, um, the, the travel sizes of this. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this fragrance. This is a very fancy fragrance, all right? Like if you're getting dressed up, you wear this fragrance. If you wanna smell just more elevated, you're gonna wear this fragrance. It's not for every day, it's not for everybody, because <laughs> I feel like a lot of women are still gonna feel like it leans masculine on them, and I totally understand where you're coming from if you say that, but my nose has changed. I've been smelling so many things, and for me, on me, right now, this is everything y'all i had to get the full bottle super super sexy oud satin mood by mfk all right guys so we've spoken about rose fragrances on this list that lean more spicy more aromatic more woody you know you smell the rose there's some fruits but it's nothing jammy sweet candy like this one right here is the opposite okay roses musk by montal is definitely your sweet jammy candied like rose so if you're somebody who's trying to dip your feet into the rose uh garden <laughs> then try roses musk i will say it is a polarizing scent and it's not a scent that everybody is going to take to you have to when i say have to you must love sweet fragrances although this is a rose it's definitely rose and floral but it's so sweet it's so jammy it's like candy if rose was a candy then that's rose's musk i love it y'all it's not for everybody i know a lot of people don't like montal fragrances because of the dna 
but for me this fragrance is a winner it's also now being sold on so avant-garde i don't know if you guys know but so avant-garde is now carrying montal fragrances so if it's in stock you can save 30 percent this weekend with my discount code aisha30 I think it's safe to say that when it comes to bond number nine, it's almost always a love at first sniff for me. All the bond number nine fragrances I have in my collection, I smelled them, loved them, and bought them because they are amazing to me. And this one right here is my New York and it is no different. When I smelled this fragrance, I literally almost did a backflip in the store. This is Rose and Ginger, two of my favorite notes. There's woody notes in here as well. There's also some fruity notes. I'm gonna tell you the notes, but for me, it's really like a Rose and Ginger fragrance. The combination of the two is just genius to me because they just work so well together, y'all. This fragrance doesn't need any layering. You don't have to do much with this fragrance. You can just layer this with like a nice rose body cream or a ginger body cream and get your whole life. Powerful beast mode scent trail, not going anywhere. You smelling better than everybody. Like what? This fragrance is the truth. So it has ginger, pink pepper, elemi, rose, papyrus, cashmere, sandalwood, and patchouli. There's no fruits in this fragrance. It's not like a super sweet, fruity fragrance. It's nothing like that. If you love rose and you wanna smell the rose, if you love ginger, if you love spicy fragrances, you will love this. And it dries down to a creamy, woody sandalwood. Not like super lactonic, not super creamy, but definitely a little creamy in the dry down, but you're gonna smell some woods too along with this. This is a masterpiece. I'm telling you, when Bond put their foot in it, they just do it right, y'all. So if you love rose and ginger and you want everybody to smell you, you wanna shut it down, trust me my new york is your girl okay so all the girlies that still love their vanilla but they want to smell some roses this is the perfect fragrance for you it's the perfect mixture of vanilla and roses and it's roses vanille beautiful sweet super sweet vanilla fragrance with rose so it's super jammy super sweet this is like sweet on another level so if you're someone that loves sweet fragrances you will love this. This one has lemon and honestly, the lemon has to be there to just cut into it. Otherwise, it would be too sweet to even wear because it's literally like almost borderline unbearable, but not unbearable because I love this fragrance. But if that lemon wasn't in here, it would be like way too sweet. There's lemon, there's water notes, which I don't know what water notes are. I don't get anything aquatic or sea-like from this fragrance. There's rose sugar vanilla a uh, white musk and cedar and the sugar in this fragrance is sugaring this is such a sweet fragrance so when you hear lemon in the opening don't think anything citrusy it's nothing like that i'm telling you that the lemon is just there to just cut through and make it not as sweet because this would be super super sweet it almost smells like a little like like a rose vanilla cola but there's nothing fizzy about it but there's something in here that has like a cola hint of a cola in the background it could be the lemon it could be the musk or the cedar but i'm telling y'all super feminine super girly super sweet so if that fits your scent profile then this needs to be for you roses beneath by mansara next up by molten brown we have delicious rhubarb and rose and delicious it is the rhubarb in this fragrance y'all is not like delina okay although it is tart it's giving a tart kind of scent but it doesn't smell like delina it has rose the rose in this fragrance is not sweet it's not a sweet fragrance at all actually but it's so beautiful i feel like you can wear it all year round it is such an incredible scent you don't hear people talking about this fragrance if you want a fragrance that's sweet but not too sweet it's giving more tart but you don't mind tart because some of us like tart sense you know it is what it is because on your skin once it warms up with your body chemistry it's not gonna smell really tart because you're gonna sweeten it up a little bit you know what i'm saying it smells incredible you smell the rhubarb and you smell the rose and the name is perfect delicious rhubarb and rose by molten brown okay guys so this next fragrance had me in a frenzy last year was it last year or was it the year before last Whenever I smelled this fragrance, it had me in a frenzy, okay? I could not believe what my nose was smelling. And that is by Laquise Imagineers and it's Dom 
Rosa. Now hear me out. This is not for everybody, okay? If you want to smell the champagne on your skin, then you will love this. This right here is a very prominent rose and champagne fragrance. It is gorgeous. It is so sexy to me. Like I said, it's not for everybody, but y'all, and it's like a woodiness in the background. Oh my goodness. Y'all already know how I feel about Dom Rosa. I done talked to y'all about this at nauseum a year ago or whenever it was. I love the scent of rose, y'all. Before all the gourmands and all the vanillas and all that, I was a rose girl. I'm still a rose girl. I was doing rose videos on my channel so much at one point. But a lot of people don't like rose. I don't know why. Um, it has this really bad stigma. But for me, when I smell rose, it makes me feel happy. Like, honestly, it makes me feel like I want to get dressed up. It makes me feel elevated. It makes me feel sophisticated. This one right here has a little twist to it because it has the champagne and it is so good. So it opens up with champagne. There's pomelo, there's a uh, pear, damask rose, there's cloves, woody notes. You definitely smell the woody notes. I'm not getting a lot of spices from this fragrance, but there is spicy notes. There's vetiver, there's guyac wood. This is a gorgeous scent, y'all. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying it because I don't want y'all to miss this part. It is not for everybody. But if you can appreciate the scent of champagne and rose, some fruity notes and some woody notes, you will love Dom Rosa. Last forever on my skin. I've heard different from some people. Now, they have the M version the Dom Rosa Melissa, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. That one right there is a straight beast. Do y'all know how I feel about Passe Soir X straight to Passe Soir? It's the same with Dom Rosa for me. Even though I love that fragrance, the one with the M, it's so much more potent. It's so much more in your face and I do love that about it. But it's something about this one that has the pear note. It's something more juicy about this one as well that I absolutely love. The other one is more woody. You definitely smell more woody notes and more champagne in the other one. This one, you're gonna get some, a little spiciness. You're gonna get the fruity notes with the champagne and the rose and it is gorgeous. Dom Rosa by Laquise Imagineers. Okay guys, so this next rose fragrance is rose, but it's spicy. It has a little bit of gourmand touch. It has chocolate, but the chocolate in this fragrance is done to my taste. I can't do a lot of chocolate in fragrances, but in Tabac Rose by BDK, give it to me. Give it all to me. Y'all, it is so sexy. This is my date night fragrance in the fall and winter. It is literally a designated date night fragrance to me. Like I don't wear it any other time other than when I'm dressed up and going out. I mean, I may not have to be like super dressed, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going somewhere. I'm not wearing this in the house. I'm not wearing this to bed. It's a unisex scent. I'm not going to say it leans feminine because it's definitely not like a frou-frou la-la type of scent, but it doesn't lean masculine to me. I don't feel manly when I wear it. I just feel super sexy. Tobacco Rose by BDK. All right, guys. So the last fragrance on today's list is by Tom Ford and it's Rose Prick. Whenever I smell this fragrance and my other Tom Ford fragrances, I get a little teary-eyed <laughs> and I shed a little tear because this is what we want from Tom Ford fragrances, okay? This is what Tom Ford fragrances embody to me. Rose Prick is spicy, it's peppery, it's rosy, it has tonka beans, so it's a little nutty and creamy in the dry down. It is a masterpiece fragrance. I always want this fragrance in my collection. It smells so good. Whenever I wear this fragrance, I feel happy. I feel sexy. I feel like I smell better than everybody. I smell unique. I just smell like everything. It is so gorgeous. It lasts long on my skin. You smell the rose, super sexy, super sultry, perfect for Valentine's Day. Perfect for any date night, any season. I wear this fragrance all year round. Like, you can't tell me nothing when I'm wearing Rose Prick, y'all. Like I said, I don't know if I said it, but I'm going to say it now. She is not for everybody. Do not blind buy this fragrance unless you just like super unique, different fragrances. Because this is super unique and different, okay? 
Rose Prick by Tom Ford. All right, guys, we made it to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your favorite rose sexy fragrances. And don't forget this weekend on So Avant Garde, I'm having my winter sale just in time for Valentine's Day, 30% off of the majority of the fragrances with the exception of Mind Games and also 40% off Tiziana Terenzi and Vicanto fragrances. So let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember guys to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.